This I found interesting too. Scott Kushner is a Pelicans reporter and columnist for the New Orleans Advocate, so he's he's in there. Like he he he's the he works with New Orleans Advocate, and he had this tweet, which has kind of gone under the radar. Alvin Gentry said he spoke to AD at length today, and he plans to play out the season. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So you're <laughs> wait 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 wait. So you're trying to tell me that the same guy whose agent requested a trade about ten days before the trade deadline, trying to leave town. Also told the coach that he plans to play out the season? This is a classic example of why you don't see this take place. And also, when you hear the term, there's no I in team, because this is a relationship business. Because while you're a great player, you still need us. He needs his head coach. Okay? They have practice. They have games. Do you think Anthony Davis really went to Alvin Gentry and was like, oh, Alvin, li- listen, listen, I know what you read in the papers. I know what I know what ESPN's reporting. I know what everyone's talking about. But I don't mean that. I want to play with you guys. Yes, he said it. Why? Because what else is he going to say? They have basketball. They play four basketball games a week. What is he supposed to but say? Here's the thing. Actions speak louder than words. I would just look at him in the face and be like, I don't believe you. You need more people. He don't control his destiny. They do. That's the point. He's not a free agent right now. They control his destiny. They can ship him to the Suns if they want to. There's a lot of teams putting together packages for him, right? And then there's Woj is reporting that there are some contending teams that wouldn't even mind if it's a rental. They'll put together a package for him, try to get him, try to win a championship this year. Correct. Could you see something like that happening? I can see teams trying to do it. I can't see it happening. Now, we have... Multiple cases of players that fall under that pre agency category Kyrie, Jimmy Butler, Paul George, now Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, right? So, for a guy like that who has let us know that he doesn't want to be here, that kind of suppresses your value mm-hmm. publicly because they know that we're forced to kind of do a deal. And I'm not about to be rushed in nine days to do a deal with one of the handful of best players in the league unless you just give me a knockout offer. And what can most teams offer? Their first or second best player. So if I'm giving up one of them, why would I bring him in when he just showed me he can't leave lead New Orleans to a championship? It don't make sense for the Knicks to give up a number one pick and give up Porzingis. It's just going to be New York Pelicans. What two teams are always discussed from the very beginning of the season when you said that he he was going to leave New Orleans? What two teams always come up? Lakers, because they have young assets that have performed and they're on rookie contracts. And the Celtics, who have that as well, plus they have multiple first-round picks. Well, my man, Chris Haynes, now of Yahoo Sports, formerly of ESPN, had an interesting report. Here's what he had to report. Regarding team preferences... Boston is not a top target for Davis, sources said. There's a growing belief of uncertainty that Kyrie Irving will re-sign with Boston, sources said, even though he vowed to do so at the beginning of the season. Wait a second. 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 So now there's a report that Anthony Davis doesn't want to go to the Celtics. Not a not a top. Not a, not a top choice of his. Where do you think this is coming from? So here's where it gets tricky. When you put out a statement that acknowledges that you were you request to be traded, a part of the subject and reasoning behind it was you want to go to a contender. You want to be on a team that's going to put you in a position to win. So therefore, like the Toronto Raptors, you'll take a chance on Kawhi Leonard. Mm-hmm. So if you're the Boston Celtics and July comes and he's still with the Pelicans, you take a chance on Anthony Davis. Great players usually don't choose to play for three teams in three years. I've talked about that multiple times. Paul George stayed. Kawhi may leave. We'll see what happens with AD. If a deal doesn't get done and we're past the trade deadline and he plays out the my season neck, with the Pelicans. My back. Yeah, my when, neck and my back. He plays out the season with the Pelicans. Would Danny Ainge and the Celtics put together a package with all those young players and assets that they could help really help them to rent Anthony Davis for one year. You're not renting him for one year. You're bringing him in, getting him familiar with the culture, and hope that convinces him to stay. With the understanding that it could be a rental. 
And so you then challenge it, you then challenge the player at his word. I just brought you into a Toronto. We're number one seed. We're good. You say you want to be a contender? We are a contender. Mm-hmm. So now if you leave and go to a bad team, oh, he's just trying to get paid. He just want to be he he what he was saying ain't really what he's about. That exposes the player as well based on what his words were.